I believe we have one of two choices. Either we choose to suffer willingly or other circumstances or other people will make us suffer. And this is inevitable. And so in this, ex in this video I want to explore why I think it's better to choose your own suffering and with that strategy being able to avoid a little bit more suffering through external circumstances and other people. And what I mean by that is you can either go down a path of hedonism where you are in the moment always making the choice of the least resistance, of the most pleasure, of what seems to be the most pleasurable in the present moment, but what will lead in the long term to probably more suffering because your body is aging, you are not caring well for your mental and physical health, you are not caring well for your relationships, because some of these things, let's be honest, are more difficult and require the more difficult choices in the present moment. And when we are opting for the easy solution now, usually we have to deal with bigger problems in the future. And for example with exercise, um, there should be a regular exercise habit um, that you are doing in order to keep physically healthy. And the issue with that is, if you are not doing it down the road, 10, 20 years from now, your life will become grad gradually worse. If you are not strong enough, if you suffer illnesses that could be avoided through just being more active. And so sometimes when you feel today is not the right feeling or you are not in the mood to do exercise, then tell yourself to choose the suffering now to avoid it later and this might help you to improve step by step to build up more positive habits because when we are going in the direction of doing the difficult thing now whether it's a mental or a physical physical challenge it will give us the opportunity to do greater th things in the future and to avoid worse outcomes in the future this is something I have found in my life to be true because whether it's on the spiritual path with meditation, it's not always easy, especially if you have an otherwise active lifestyle. You have to consciously choose to put time aside in your day to do these practices and they are definitely not always fun. But I also had times where I stopped meditating, for example, and I feel really after a few weeks where I have let myself go and not have my regular meditation practice that I really feel differently. I act differently, I perceive the world differently. And so meditation, I only feel it, so to speak, when I'm not doing it. I feel the effects of not doing meditation, whereas I just feel better always when I do it, because I do it most of the time. And so this is one of the things we have to learn as a concept because it doesn't come naturally to do difficult things. We are not challenged enough by nature anymore. We don't have to hunt for food to get our exercise. We don't have to invent things to survive every day anymore to challenge us mentally. So we have to make a conscious effort and learn that we have to put ourselves under a certain amount of pressure in order to be optimally healthy and functioning. This is not something that comes automatically to us anymore. So this is one of the things I want to emphasize. When you are learning how to challenge yourself and that this is a necessary step in order to develop yourself optimally, then you will always make the choices that are maybe not the most pleasurable now but that are the best for you in the long run. And I think this is what many people in the spiritual community overlook. They are looking for this pleasurable feeling out of meditation. They look for some kind of quick improvement upon their life. They want this enlightenment and all worries and everything just gone that they don't like and attract this happy mood all the time, this loving feeling and 
they say, oh, everything is fine and um, you don't actually have to have a meditation practice and you don't have to force yourself to do anything. But I think that's wrong because in the long run, this will not work. Of course, you have, don't have to be overly strict with yourself and um, restrict all pleasures in life. I'm not saying that, but there is a, a fine path in the middle, like where you're not going in, onto the hedonic treadmill and where you're not letting yourself just become very weak mentally and physically. And on the other hand, not just having any pleasure in your life where you're not enjoying anything, but the middle ground where you are where you know you have to do certain things that are good for you and you have to avoid certain other things that are bad for you. And from time to, di from time, to time you can enjoy maybe a luxurious meal, eat a little bit more than what you need, for example, or um, go binge watch one on series, but don't make it, make it like a habit to do that every week or every month even. And so... Um, yeah, what I want to emphasize in this video is really that even in spirituality, don't let yourself go down this path of, oh, it's just um, everything is already fine because maybe your life is really comfortable already. There is much to be gained from dis disciplining yourself and building up some routine habit to put yourself un under a certain amount of suffering and put yourself under pressure put your physical body under pressure and also your mental aspects, your mental capacity to grow, to learn, to improve every day a little bit. And this has long-term consequences and will improve how you feel, how you inter interact with the world and how you are experiencing your own life, really. Yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about in this video. Either choose your suffering yourself like choose what you want to put yourself through in order to avoid certain other negative outcomes either from your environment from other people or from your own health point of view i guess the way where you're consciously choosing where you want to suffer why you want to suffer and in which way is the better way because it's also more enjoyable kind of like pushing yourself in order to grow which will put you in the state of flow actually this is also what i want to mention like suffering is not always bad you can work out really hard or you can study something really hard which you are have dreaded maybe for days but then you get around to studying it or doing the certain thing and you're putting yourself in that thing that you thought would make you suffer but when you are actually conscious during that act actually you are in a very much flow like state because you are challenging yourself to the utmost degree to the to a little bit more of what you are actually capable of you really have to put your whole effort into it and that feels good and so go the way not of the hedonic treadmill but more of the stoic way where you are improving yourself you're working on yourself you Put yourself under, under a certain amount of pressure and um, avoid other negative outcomes through that. Um, leave me a comment down below. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Goodbye.